The fan phenomenon in cycling results in many people being dedicated to the promotion of hatred towards athletes, within their concept of what sport is about, as if it were soccer. If the cyclist that they hate wins, then you must undermine their success. That's why today, I wanted to bring you the most hated cyclist in each country, or at least by the cycling hooligan sector of that country. Do you want to meet them? Without any further ado, let the show begin. Chris Froome, France If there is a rider who in recent years has been detested by the country of the Tour, it's undeniably the four-time champion, Chris Froome. France is possibly the European country that is most focused on the fight against doping, and the sudden appearance of the white Kenyan bursting apart the peloton at the seams in the mountains of the Tour, after receiving a therapeutic use authorization due to Bellarzia just after the outbreak of Lance Armstrong's doping confession, provoked a terrible hatred towards the Briton. The similarities were many for the French fan. The little sky train ascended the hardest slopes in a very similar way to the blue train of US Postals. Froome's superiority was such over his rivals that he looked like a complete robot, in the purest Armstrong style. Therefore, they turned away from the nice British cyclist and began to shout at him while he was competing, to the point that they even threw urine in his face in the middle of the competition. Many will say that it is pure envy, because the French have not won a tour for more than 35 years, but these types of acts have not been seen with other champions. Pavel Sivakov, Russia In the midst of the war between Russia and Ukraine, it would be logical to think that the Russians that are more sympathetic to their leader Vladimir Putin would be more jealous of Ukrainian cyclists. However, what a Russian really hates are the deserters, like the Ineos cyclist Pavel Sivakov. This young Gregario rider, to whom something always happens in the Grand Tours, and who looks like he's going to remain a mere promise, competed under Russian nationality despite being born in Italy and living almost all his life in France. His patriotic feeling was such that he even competed for the Russian Federation in two world championships. But the 24 year old has changed his attitude. He used to be a proud Russian, but since the beginning of the war, possibly for commercial reasons, he has changed his nationality. He is now Pavel Sivakov, the Frenchman. Undoubtedly a betrayal for Putin and his people, who might see this move as a disgrace carried out for simple economic interests. If I were Sivakov, I might never set foot in Moscow again. Danilo De Luca, Italy This Italian cyclist, winner of the Giro d'Italia and Liège in 2007, and number one in the UCI World Rankings in 2005, is one of the biggest dopers in history, and certainly deserves a video on this channel. However, it is not only for doping. However, it is not only for doping to the limit on numerous occasions and being sanctioned for life that he is hated by his compatriots. It is also for having rebuked the fans and other transalpine cyclists, since he does not understand why they criticise him, when according to De Luca himself, 90% of other Italian cyclists doped. This offended Vincenzo Nibali, who directly compared De Luca to a beggar seeking attention just for a few coins. The former Seiko rider claims that if he told everything that he knows, he would end up in prison. Well tell it, my friend De Luca, tell it. And you may be hated amongst other cyclists. But we here at Cycling Stories, we will thank you, along with the rest of our followers. Femke van der Driesch, Belgium Look, there are plenty of riders in Belgium to be hated. From Eddie Merckx fans criticising Remco Evenepoel, the Wout van Aert fans wishing the worst on Matteo van der Poel from the neighbouring country. But the trophy goes to this very young former European under 23 cyclocross champion. At just 19 years old, she was one of the favourites to win her category race in Zolder. However, mechanical problems prevented her from finishing the competition. Why were they caused? By a motor in her bike detected by the UCI in the first official mechanical fraud case in history. She will always be in the textbooks of all cycling lovers as the first mechanical doper, a pioneer who has not been valued very much in her own country. She caused shame, rejection and was written off by the legends of Belgian cycling and her country's press, linking her case to her brother's doping 
and to her father's criminal career as a thief. Sanctioned and hated for life, it seems. Today, Bagachar, Colombia. Podgy is obviously the number one rider in the world in 2022. His constant stream of victories and all kinds of competitions have wiped off the map almost all his rivals, and that has hurt a lot in Colombia. A country that since the emergence of Nairo Quintana 10 years ago was living its most brilliant era in its favourite sport of cycling. Since the appearance of Roglic, but especially of Pogacar, the rhythm of Colombian triumphs has diminished greatly, and some Colombians blame the Slovenians for it, assuring us that they move with fast coffee, more doped than Diego Maradona after a night in the bowling alley. Something similar also happened in Spain, when Miguel Indurain's fans criticised Bjarn Arís for beating the cyclist with the biggest heart in the world. Few Colombians would not want Tadeo to end up confessing to doping like the bald Dane. Nairo Quintana, Spain. For many years, the Spanish boasted champions. But in recent years, the emergence of Nairo Quintana and Egan Bernal, amongst others, have elevated Colombia in the sport of cycling, leaving the Spanish behind in a secondary place in the big stage tours. Nairito is the most hated in Spain for having competed with Movistar, a Spanish team that had favoured the conflict of interest between Mikel Landa, the Basque idol, and Nairo Quintana the man who had won the Majiro and a Vuelta. The confrontation between the two alpha males provoked rivers of ink amongst the Landista fans of the current Bahrain cyclist and the Colombian defenders of their champion. Since then, many Spaniard only see flaws in Quintana, belittling his way of racing and calling him Coditos or Mueble for sometimes conservative tactics, something that angers the Colombians a lot. For us neutrals, Obviously, it's hilarious to see these intra-dialect fights. Lance Armstrong, United States of America The seven-time Tour de France champion is still beloved by many gringo cycling fans, but he's still a character quite hated by the average American. In 2013, a year after confessing to doping, he was named the most hated athlete in the country, a merit that very few can earn. Many fans wished that he would go bankrupt, but luckily Low Cost, who lost more than $100 million back then, was able to recover thanks to an investment in Uber shares, and he managed to maintain a personal fortune of $50 million, in addition to having his own successful podcast where he invites the likes of singer Sammy Hagar, or the award-winning performer Mia Khalifa. They wanted him to go from hero to zero, but there you have him. He's still a hero.